What's up guys, welcome back to the Dive Into It. Today's another amazing day to get out there and we're gonna be better today than we were yesterday. And for today's video, we have with us Juan Castilla. He just signed with the MLS as a 15 year old and we're gonna show you guys today's video. Hey guys, my name is Juan Castilla. Uh, I just signed my first professional contract with the Houston Dynamo. I'm a midfielder and I've been playing with the academy for about uh, five years and I'm excited to be in this video. Pretty much now that you're officially a pro and you play in a uh, midfield position and that like requires a lot of mental strength and you know you have to sometimes change the game up for you guys to win. So how is that pressure affecting you um, coming from different academy teams and now playing training with the Houston Dynamo? Uh, so throughout uh, my career I've been playing in many different clubs so that's giving me like a perspective of how different uh, teams approach the game and tactics wise. So I think mentally I'm really ahead of my level, like the level that I play at. So that gives me uh, more of an advantage whenever I'm on the field. And just, I think a big part of it is off the field, how strong you are mentally. And with my family and everyone around me, it's always positivity. So uh, mentally, whenever I go into games, I'm confident, I'm confident in my skill, and I think that's the most important part, that if you're confident in what you can do, and when you're playing, you reflect that, uh, I feel like that's the best way to deal with it. So everybody who's like your age and younger or a little bit older, what would you tell them to like help their confidence? Because I'm pretty sure if a lot of them were placed in your shoes, they'd crack. Yeah. So well, if I was 15 and then I was like, I wanna build confidence like yours, what do I have to do? Uh, well, I mean, Everybody has their skill set, and uh, for me, in my case, my skill set is my technical ability. So I would say just whatever you're, you're, whatever you're good at, be work on that and be amazing at it. So whenever you're on the field, uh, you can strive and like uh, be at a higher level than everybody else in what you're doing. And obviously, everybody's gonna have their weaknesses in the game, but uh, if you uh, try to work on your skill set and make that the best possible in the game, you're gonna be filled with confidence. So pretty much, you know, I know you're pretty young. How much time did you spend in training? Like, did you, were you always training with your team? Like when you were in other teams and then you'd come home and train or did you just focus all your training at the team training? Uh, definitely not, <laughs> ever since uh, growing up, my dad was my coach, so uh, at the club that I was at, like starting at the age of seven, probably, uh, I would train probably with three teams a day. Uh, wow. So, because my dad would be there from like 4 p.m. all the way up until 9, and I'd be there with him just training. And then whenever I started joining like the big MLS academies, I would say, uh, I still trained twice a day, every day. Uh, I switched from regular school to uh, online school about sixth grade, seventh grade, and it's just been training in the morning, doing school, and then going to training with the team in the afternoon. And even when I was overseas and in Columbus, I was always going to the park whenever we weren't training or before training in the morning and getting my touches up. So you played overseas? Yes. Where did you play overseas? In Valencia. Uh, I played in a club called Alboraya, and uh, I was there for a year and a half, and that was a big part of me growing mentally, uh, just because I was away from my family. So I matured at a pretty young age, and I mean, I was only 12 when I left. So uh, now I can see the I can see the benefits of of leaving and getting that experience. So I know a lot of players; um, they're trying to go professional, 
And most of the time, everybody tells them you either need an agent or a really good contact. And in your case, was it your dad that knew somebody or, you know, Houston Dynamo already helped you with setting you up with their agent that they help children? Like, how, how did it get to that point where there were teams looking at you, actually? Uh, I mean, for me, the agent really came in handy when it came to getting the contract, mm -hmm. the final details of it. And you can do it without an agent, uh, but I wouldn't think you'd get the best deal out of it. Uh, the agent definitely helped because, I mean, that's what he's experienced in and that's what he does for a living. So uh, whenever they offered me the contract, uh, we, me and my parents thought about it and we just uh, got an agent and let him handle everything. And I feel like it helped a lot and I'm really happy with the decision we made to get an agent. Mm. And was Houston Dynamo one of the only teams or were there other teams that really were like interested? I mean, uh, there's like a lot of rules when it comes to like the MLS academies and like the zone oh, and all yeah. that. So I wouldn't really be able to leave, but uh, Dynamo just showed interest whenever I was in Columbus. Mm -hmm. uh, they wanted me to come back. And so I came back and that they've just been focused on me, I would say, in my development. And now I got, they, they gave me the opportunity now, so. Wow. Yeah, so. NCAA, we'll see you maybe in the next life, you know? <laughs> so now that, you know, you're officially an official person, does that change your social life? Or you, do you think it's gonna change like your friends or anything or everything's pretty much gonna stay the same? Uh, I mean, obviously like, I've seen like some people talk about like cloud chasers and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but I mean, I've had a close circle since I was little. Mm -hmm. uh, like my three, my three friends, I would say, uh, have been my friends since I was like four. So, okay. uh, I mean, obviously I'm gonna have a lot more people like talk to me, but I mean, I have my family, I have my friends that I consider family and I'm just gonna keep them close to me. And I mean, just keep as much positive energy around me, you know, like yeah. I can't, everybody tells me that I gotta keep my head, head low and keep working and that's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. And you have like, now that you're part of the MLS, you have a great platform. And if you want to do whatever you want to do, by all means, you can take advantage of it. Um, you know, you have a lot of time. You can finish your school, whatever you want. And by the time you're 25, I'm probably going to have like eight kids running around my house. So you take advantage of it. All right. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, no problem. And Thank you for having me. now we're going to head to the field. So, um, we're going to... I'll show you a little bit, but most of it is going to be on William's channel. So by all means, go check out his channel too. And let's go to the soccer field. So right now we're headed to the soccer field. And since my boy has his permit, he's going to be showing us how he whips. So we're going to see if he's a good driver. You know, if he's good, I'll let you guys know. If he's not, you know, I'm going to have to take the car keys from him, you know? And then there's William in the background over there doing his vlog. <laughs>
thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you have any questions for Juan, leave in the comment section below when he gets his YouTube account ready. He'll probably respond to some of you guys' messages. And I'm sorry about the audio. I was going to, you know, use the film. But it just sounds so garbage that I had to re-record it so you guys can hear me clearly. So thank you guys once again for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Judabini TV is out. I can't feel my face, but nothing really cannot stop me till I fall.